Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. I'm going to be building a Galapagos giant tortoise habitat in Planet Zoo today and it's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. So please like and subscribe and let's get into the video. I'm just looking at the Zoopedia here because I was actually not very much sure of what the Galapagos giant tortoise needed. I didn't know if, uh, if I needed to build a high fence, if it has to be climbable or whatever didn't know what kind of um, what kind of habitat they needed. Turns out they did not require much. They just required a little bit of space and that was basically it was some uh, some enrichments and I decided to add water because I like that for tortoises. Um, but they did not need it so that was pretty much great. They also didn't need a fence that isn't climbable but I decided to go with the chain uh, chain link fence. Um, since it just looked better, it uh, wouldn't go bad um, as fast as the other fence, so that was kind of great. Here I'm fencing it, I already made a layout, and then I just improvised I guess. Just trying out some doors here and then realized I did not have space, so I had to create a little space. Right there. More space. Alright, fixing that up. Because I want to make it a walkthrough enclosure. Um, which is something that I've had in mind ever since I started this series. I want to have a tortoise walkthrough uh, enclosure. It seemed really, really cool to me. So uh, I wanted to do that. I was building a little bridge here and then later on realized that it wasn't very... It wasn't a very adventurous path. It would just go from one way to the other way. So there we go. Switch that up a little bit. And then I added a little stairs there so you would even get to see the other part of the uh, enclosure. I made the I made it a bridge so that the tortoises could actually get to the other side of the enclosure and not just be stuck on one side like I had with the anteaters. Um, fix that up, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, just doing some terraforming right here wasn't too difficult, I just wanted to add a little bit of water and some shape in the land. That's it. So I added some water. I uh, It turned out pretty good this enclosure. I was not very much sure of it at first because I haven't played this game in a long, long time. Um, but then when I got into it I realized that that's not something you just stop being able to do. Uh, building enclosures for tortoises. Um, oh, completed the research, alrighty, what's that, oh, I'm filtering it on biome and stuff, placing some bamboo down, I was really hoping for it to become day, because I could not see a thing here, so, also, uh, a baby was born from the caption monkeys, and also from the llamas, which I was quite happy about because, first off, you can sell them and earn um, points. Or you can uh, just have more animals in the zoo. And this was actually my second capuchin monkey baby. And I have some cinematics of the capuchin monkey babies later on. So that's kind of cool. We're just decorating, putting some plants in. That's great. I always go with a couple of like standard plants um, for every biome because I have um, like these balm trees that I use now. I use those for tropical biomes um, and I have a couple trees that I'm using for this. You see that? Uh, those ones and the giant rhubarb plants and the elephant's ear thingy. Yeah. Um, it got lighter, uh, turned today, I guess, so I was quite happy about that. Um, don't know what just happened there, but okay. Placing some rocks down to make it look better. Every enclosure needs rocks. They're important. What are we doing here? We're gonna search. What's happening? 
Oh, there we go. See, that's what I mean, the giant rhubarb plant. It's amazing, it's so, it looks so good, I swear. Habitat stuff. I figured out that I hardly have anything for curses. So uh, that's, that might be difficult. I hope not. Um, but yeah, for now it's fine, I guess. Because they don't have shelter. I don't know if they're supposed to have shelter, but they don't. So that could become a problem. I hope it's not. I realized that they actually need railings because otherwise the guests would just walk into the enclosure technically. Uh, but they don't do that in game. But if it was real life, then they would. So uh, for like a bit of realism, I wanted to add those fences because I thought that would make it a little bit more well, realistic. So I did. Uh, turned out pretty good. I also wanted to add some education because that's important and uh, I'm playing in franchise mo mode so otherwise the guests don't complain. What's that pink thing? Oh never mind. Uh, some bins. Just spreading them around more. I don't want it to be messy. It already is. You see that notification on the side? Yeah, other than the escaped animal. Um, that's a notification that my zoo is messy and disgusting. Which one? Uh, oh, one of my llamas is having a baby, apparently. Oh yeah, that was the one I told you guys about earlier. I love baby llamas, they're adorable. I love llamas in general, but like... Only in game, because in real life they spit, I think. I'm <laughs> kinda scared of those. Well, I'm not scared of llamas, I'm just scared of them spitting on me. Completely off topic, already. What are we doing now? Oh yeah, right, I wanted to add some stuff uh, by the water. Some reeds or cattail or whatever. Yeah, there we go. I always love adding those to water because otherwise it just looks very like, man-made, I guess. I don't want it to look like that. So, I always try to add a couple of those and a couple cattails and stuff just to make it look a bit more natural. Oh, and there we're buying them. I decided to get a couple males and a couple females to... Uh, prevent inbreeding and I found a couple cheap ones and a couple expensive ones and it was all fine so bought those selected them and here they are <laughs>